I'm here today to do a tag for you all. This tag is called the My Genres tag. This tag was created by Noelle from Blue Fox Fables, and I was tagged to do it by Estelle from Autumn Entha, I think is how you say it. Please tell me if I'm pronouncing it wrong. I'm not that good at pronouncing names. So in this tag, there are a series of eight questions relating to genres of books that you like to or don't like to read. So on with the questions. Question number one is, what is your most read genre and is it your favorite? Give examples. So at the moment, I don't think you can put this in a genre archetype, but I'm going to just say it is, um, just because I've been reading a lot of it. You all should know what I'm about to say. Um, I'm going to just put manga in its own genre type, even though technically it's not a genre. So I wouldn't say it's my all-time favorite thing to read. I go through spurts where I want to read manga, and then I go through spurts where I want to read just novels. But at the moment, I'm really, really into it, so let's just say that it's my favorite right now. Um, some of my favorites, I'm just going to show a few. Fruits Basket by Natsuki Takaya. This is not one I've spoken about on my channel before, but it is one of my favorites. It's been a super long time since I've read this, and I really need to reread it, but it is about a girl named Toru who, under unfortunate circumstances, comes to live with a family of people who are cursed by the Chinese zodiac. Each person in the family is cursed by one of the animals and turns into that animal when hugged by a person of the opposite sex. I love this story, although I do find the main character, Toru, to be super annoying, and she's one of my least favorite characters, but still a really good series. I possibly will be talking more about this series in a later video, because I will be rereading this very soon, so there's that one. Another favorite that I've been rereading this month is Full Metal Alchemist by Arakawa Hiromu. I have the first five bind-ups, which has volumes 1 through 15 in them, but I'm pretty sure it has 20-something volumes total. This story is set in a world where alchemy is very real, and you can create things by using other things to make them, and these two brothers commit the ultimate taboo and try to bring a person back to life. And of course things go wrong and I don't really want to go into great detail in this video because I will be doing a review of this series very soon. So look forward to that one. And then who can mention manga without mentioning this as one of their top series? It's pretty popular in the booktube community as well. And that one is Death Note, which is written by Obatsugumi and the art is by Obata Takeshi. One of my favorite series, very, very awesome thriller mystery. This is the first in the Black Edition bind-ups, which are gorgeous books, by the way. This has volumes one through three in it. I own the first three of these. I plan on collecting all six of them, I think there is. This has gone around on the booktube community, I've seen it before, so if you're new to manga and want to check something out, this is usually the first one that a lot of people recommend. This is about a boy named Yagami Light, who finds a death note on the floor, and basically this notebook, whenever you write somebody's name while picturing their face while you write it, they will automatically die. I think it's like, I think it's like 25 seconds after you write that person's name in there. And so Light decides that as the holder of this notebook, it is his right and purpose to basically rid the world of evil. So he starts writing criminals' names in there. And of course, since people like seem to be dropping dead for no reason, the police get involved and things happen and it becomes amazing. And yes, so read this. Question number two is, what is your second most read genre? And show a few examples. If I really had to pick, I would say my second most read is dystopian, just because I do read a lot of YA books. And for some reason this year, dystopian is like huge in the YA community. So a lot of books that have come out are in set in that genre type. So the first one I want to mention is, of course, Divergent by Veronica Roth. I love this story so much. Reread it last month and loved it still just as much. I don't want to really talk about what this story is about because I'm pretty sure the majority of you already know what this book is about. So 
Yeah, Divergent. Another one of my favorite dystopians is Blood Red Road by Moria Young. This is about a girl named Saba who lives with her father and her two siblings, one of them being her twin brother Lou, who one day gets kidnapped by a bunch of masked men. It's about her journey, finding him, and she meets a bunch of interesting people along the way, including her love interest, Jack. And this is just a really good, really good dystopian series. Very different from how it's written. It, the way that they speak is very slang, um, country hick almost. And it did take me a little while to get used to it. But after I got used to it, it is actually one of the things that I like most about this book. Question number three is, what is your least favorite genre and why? I would say anything that is non-fiction, I don't really like. I prefer made-up stories. I'm not saying that real people's lives aren't interesting. There has been some pretty interesting stuff that has happened to people and they've put it in books, but for some reason I just don't find it as interesting as a made-up story. So I don't really read a whole lot of like biographies or anything like that. Question number four is, what genre have you never tried and do you want to? Again, I've never really read any like biographies and I don't really plan on doing it. Once again, I don't really find real people's lives all that interesting. Well, I know mine's not, so yeah. Question number five is, what genre are you getting into that you would like recommendations for? I really want to start reading a lot more sci-fi. I just borrowed Written in Red by Anne Bishop which in the library is categorized as sci-fi, but when I read the synopsis it kind of sounded more like fantasy or like urban fantasy, but it's categorized as sci-fi, so I'm just going to say it's sci-fi and we'll see because it doesn't seem like it at all. And this is why I need recommendations for it, right? I can't even tell what oh, sci-fi. The other one that I was thinking of reading pretty soon is The Wind-Up Girl by Paolo Bacigalupi, I want to say. Bacigalupi, I think that's how you pronounce that. Not, not 100% sure, but my dad recommended this book to me, and he says it's really good. And I haven't read his young adult series, but I've heard his young adult series is good too. But I want to try this one first. Need more recommendations, though. I do, I do. Question number six is, what genre do you like that most people don't know you like? Ah, uh, this one's gonna be interesting. This genre goes back to manga, and it, this actually is a genre in manga that a lot of people don't know I like. Well, uh, a lot of people that I personally know know I like this genre, but not, but booktube doesn't know this, and I'm going to tell you guys. Not so much anymore, more when I was in high school, when I was younger, I read this genre, and that is Shonen Ai. To put it in English, uh, boys love gay stories between two male characters. I read a lot of them. I have a huge collection. Um, this is probably one of my favorites, and one of the more PG-13 ones that I have. I do have some pretty risque ones as well. Um, and then I did also actually read novelized versions of Shonen Ai. I have the manga of this exact series, and these are the novelized versions of those mangas. Really good, by the way. So I also read these as well. So there you have it. Something you didn't know that I read or read. I occasionally read it now, but really not as much. I'm getting back into manga, so perhaps I'll read more of it. Question number seven is, if you had to stop reading one genre, what would it be? I could do without romance. Like, not romance in another genre type, like pure romance. I think I've read maybe one romance novel, and it wasn't the greatest thing I've read, so I could do without those. I don't read them very often. I read lots of books that have romance in them, but they also have main storylines to them that have nothing to do with the romance. So, pure romance, yeah, I don't need it. And then finally, question number eight is, 
What's one genre that you like that you thought you never would? And that's an easy question. That would have to be historical fiction. I did not think I would like historical fiction, but after reading this particular book, I absolutely love it. Now, it does take a special historical fiction book. I don't like all of them, but this one, and I'm sure you all know which one I'm going to show you, is one of my absolute favorites for how large it is and how long it is. I read it in the course of, I want to say, a few days. And that one is The Bronze Horseman by Paulina Simons. This is the first in the Bronze Horseman trilogy. I absolutely devoured this book. It was amazing. Set in Russia during World War II, it is the love story between this teenage girl named Tatiana and a soldier named Alexander. And it is just amazing. Amazing. I cannot stress how much I love this. Love this book. I do have a review of this as well up on my Goodreads channel. And I will link that down below if you'd like to check that out. Um, this book is a whopping 810 pages. Very tiny, tiny font. And I read it super quick because it was amazing. So check it out. That was all the questions for this tag. I might tag a few people, link them down below. Go check to see if your name is down there. Thank you again, Estelle, for tagging me in this video, and I will see you all next time. Bye.